Hi guys, this is again Alan and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be having a very special painting session because today I'm gonna do figure painting. Figure painting is something I don't usually do because it's very challenging but since this is very special, I'm gonna be doing it and I'm gonna be showing my process to you. My reference image for this is the image of my mom's friend. It's her birthday and my mom requested me to do this because she's gonna be giving this to her as her present. And I can't say no to my mom because that friend of hers is very special. They're very close. Yes, this is my mom's friend. She's very attractive. This is, you know, giving us summer feels. But anyway, let's start with our process. But before that, I'd like to show you the things that I will be needing in this process. So I have here three brushes. I have my Skoda Reserva number 8, my Isa Bay size 4 for the details, and my Raphael 803 Petit Gris. So... Yeah, by the way, this is size 0. And for my watercolors, I'm choosing Daniel Smith. And the colors are Kinacridon Red, Permanent Yellow Deep, Buff Titanium, Van Dyke Brown, Moon Glow, um, Cobalt Blue. And I also have here a gouache, uh, white gouache from Karan Diash. And by the way, our paper is Arches 185 Cold Press Cotton Paper. So I have already done my sketch earlier. I used Grid. The first thing that I'm gonna do is to make sure that the grids are very well erased and to make sure also that the lines are very light so let me just uh, zoom it nearer so for this I'm gonna do the background first before the main subject and the reason for that is because if we do the main subject first then we mess around later at the background that's gonna be a bigger problem so I do the background first anyway this is white sand and it's just gonna be you know very random you don't actually need to copy exactly the reference for this that's my my opinion that's my way of it so for this for the background for the part of the sand that is exposed to light I'm gonna be using buff titanium and in some parts I'm gonna add yellow for the warmth and for the parts with shadow I'm gonna be using moon glow and I'm gonna add I think Van Dyke Brown to make it deeper what I really love about the buff titanium of Daniel Smith is that it uses only one pigment. It uses PW6 is to one, so any single pigment color is very attractive to me. Instead of those mixes that I see in other brands, so yeah. As you can see, we are gonna be just doing this very loosely and uh, quickly, effortlessly, because this is you know just sand. And also in some parts you might want to just leave the area white because white in any painting makes it attractive and uh, more natural. You know, seeing parts of the paper makes your painting more watercolory because that shows, you know, transparency somehow. Or I mean that shows the part of the paper and I think that is one secret in watercolor painting that we need to master you know um, leaving some parts unpainted so now we are gonna add the warmer touches using the yellow color that we have but remember to do this very lightly so that it won't overpower our first layer and yes I'm doing this while it's still wet because I want that yellow to you know mix well with the buff titanium now we are done with the first layer of the background and before we do the shadow parts in our sand let's uh, of course wait for it to dry and while waiting for it to dry to save time let's color first her swimsuit and for that I've chosen cobalt blue now let's do the other fabrics here and I think this is her scarf and aside from the fingers, you know, cloth or fabric is also something that is really hard to paint, at least for me. So this is another challenging part here. Um, for this, I'm going to be using the mixture of Van Dyke Brown and uh, Moon Glow and also Cobalt Blue.
now our background is dry we can now proceed to the shadow part and for that we are going to be using moon glow with van dyke brown remember to be very careful in coloring the parts that are very dark like this the shadows especially for the parts that you know that touch the skin or the main subject especially here because your shoulder catches you know a huge amount of light so I need to keep that um, light in that part and I don't want to color that part I want to save and show the white part And also I'd like to do some dry brush technique in our sand part to show texture and an even layout of the sand. Do it randomly. Now I'm doing another layer for our cloth. This time we're gonna be using deeper shades because we are gonna be coloring the shadows. And for our figure, for our main subject, I'm going to start with the skin. I'm going to do the first layer of the skin. And that has to be the lightest you know, wash. And then eventually, we'll proceed with the second layer, of course, after the first layer is dried. So if you want to save time, you may use blower or a hair dryer like this. So for our skin, I did three mixes. One is the yellowest. This one. For our first layer, and also I have a mid here and a deeper color here the same colors a quinacridone red permanent yellow deep and cobalt blue so let's do our first layer let's start the skin in her legs and feet and for the part that catches the most light i'll be lifting out the colors in there and uh, that's for the highlight Let's do the same process. So now let's lift again the colors that are hit by light the strongest. So now let's do it in the remaining parts in her arms and in her face. And for her neck part and chest part, I am adding a light mixture of violet using also the same colors, um, quinacridone red and cobalt blue because this part is um, dark because of the shadows. Let's go for the second layer. Now it's time to put the darkest layer, the third layer of our skin. So this is still a combination of course of the quinacridone red, permanent yellow deep, and cobalt blue. But this time we are putting more cobalt blue here. So it's purplish. Some people are very you know, afraid and hesitant to do this deep layer in skin because they're afraid it's gonna... You know, it's not gonna be a success, but just, you know, be brave and practice a lot and uh, eventually you will learn this and when you learn it, it's gonna be very rewarding. Thank you. 
So for the hair, um, this is only the first layer. I'm not gonna, of course, color this this way. I'm gonna make it deeper later on. And I'm not actually a fan of, you know, um, hairs that are very detailedly done. Like, um, every strand is seen. I'm fine with just showing some just to indicate, you know, that it's hair. There are strands, but not completely drawing every single strand so I'm gonna show it later on how I do it but since we are all doing layers we need to let first layers to dry first now we're done with her body let's go to her face so this is gonna be the conclusion of our output even if we are already contented and happy with the body if the face is gonna fail then the painting is not gonna be successful so this is a critical part so we need better concentration now so now for the hair i'm gonna be using mixture of van dyke brown and cobalt blue Now, let's go to the lips. I think we're done. We just need to put some highlights using the white gouache for the sunglasses and for the highlights of some um, parts of her skin and the hair So now I think we're done. I think we can stop <laughs> with this and for that I can uh, give you now a closer look so that you can see the details. As you can see it's not super fine. I mean the details are not very defined. I just want this uh, style, a loose style and a uh, little rough and uh, I'm happy about it. I hope my mom's friend likes this when she receives this. So I think that's all for today. If you have any questions, recommendations, or suggestions, please keep them coming. I love reading your comments. And little by little, I'm replying to each one of you. So please be patient and understand that I have lots of, you know, queries and questions and uh, comments to reply to. So, yeah. Um, again, thank you for watching and see you when I see you.